Hello, this morning I want to talk to you about spiritual gardening. With all of the time that we have been at home, I don't know about you, but I've spent a lot of time outside. And in the early weeks, I especially enjoyed weeding and gardening and planting. So I want to talk to you folks about spiritual gardening this morning. And there are three elements of the spiritual gardening that I want to talk to you about. And it has to do with what it takes for the seeds that we plant to grow. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is soil. See this wonderful dirt and soil in here? So that is soil. We need the soil in order for our plants to grow. Plants need a foundation for them to be put in, just as you and I need a foundation in Christ. John 15, 4 says, Abide in me, and I in you. The second thing that we need in order for our seeds to grow is this, and that is sun. The bright sun. Did you know that plants grow toward the sunlight? They need the warmth and the strength of the sun to grow. If you've ever noticed even house plants in your house or plants outside, you will see that they lean toward the sun. So plants need the sun and we as Christians, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And that is from Psalm. So we too need sun. The third thing we need in order for plants to grow is water. Some of us have been fortunate to have a lot of rainwater. Some of us might have irrigation systems in our yard. Some of us may have a watering can, but we need to always put water in the, in the soil and have the sun in order for our plants to grow. Plants need water to sustain them, and we need each other in Christ to sustain us. M Matthew 18, 20 says, Where two or three are gathered together, there am I in the midst of them. So we too need the water, the Spirit, to be with us. In gardening, there is one thing that I really don't like. And for those of you who also know something about gardening, there is something that's a real pain, and that is this word, weeds. No matter how much we plant and love our seed and, and water and know that the sun and the, and the sunshine is coming, there are still going to be weeds that pop up. Sometimes those weeds in our lives could be unkind words that we say to one another. It could be hitting someone else. It could be saying something that is not representative of what Christ would have us say. So my word to you is as you plant your spiritual garden, be sure to take care of those weeds and pull out those weeds just as we would in a garden in our lives as well. Weeds distract us from Christ and so we want to pull those weeds out. Remember, there are three things that we need for a healthy spiritual garden. One is soil, where we have a foundation in Christ. The other is the sun, where we actually are bathed in the light of Christ. And the third thing is water, where we, where we are together in fellowship with one another. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you that you have given us your garden, your place to take care of. We are indeed stewards of the land. We ask that you would help us to work on our spiritual gardens, that we would plant in a good foundation, that we would be bathed in your sunlight and also in the water that you give us, the living water. Help our gardens to grow. May, be, may we be aware of the weeds and take those out so that we can glorify you. In Christ's name, amen.